As we enter Syria, it is the free Syrian army flag that flies high here. We're on a media trip into Azaz, organized by the Turkish authorities. They take us close to where there's been fighting with the YPG, the Kurdish armed group Turkey calls a terrorist organization. Turkish forces are trying to push it out of the region of Afrin. The front line is just a few kilometers west of here. Both Turkish troops and the Free Syrian Army are taking part. We ask one of the FSA fighters why he is involved in Turkey's operation. For some, it seems, it's personal. We are fighting the YPG because they betrayed us, and especially because they took over my city, Tal Rifat. I've been displaced along with many of my neighbors for two years, living in the camps. There are such bad conditions, especially now in the winter. What our Turkish escorts are telling us is that the front line with the YPG, with the Kurdish fighters, is just uh, further along that mountain. There's also Bursaya Mountain, which is over to this side where there's been active fighting. But what is clear here uh, on the outskirts of Azaz city is how much of a presence Turkey has. They are, of course, supporting the free Syrian army fighters, the Syrian rebels that are really taking a large part in this operation that Turkey has undertaken against Afrin. While we were here, two bullets whizzed overhead. And we're told YPG snipers are to blame for this. They shot at us and our tire blew up, he says. We move on and into the city of Azaz. ISIL was pushed out of here in 2014, but life remains difficult. Nazar has to provide for 13 members of her family, she tells us. She is all alone. War has now become the norm, she says. People like us are used to the shelling and the explosions. The young children are still scared. But we've been facing this for a few years now. We're not afraid anymore. There is hardly any electricity here. Generators are the only way to get light or heat. And the winter rain has left the streets thick with mud. The black paint on this wall reads, for sale. It seems some still dream of moving on from here. The landscape in this part of Syria is dotted with tents. Millions of Syrians remain homeless in their own country. We have been here for three years and the tent has never been fixed. Because of the rain, the tent leaks and there are seven people in one tent. Our situation is terrible. This is a country ripped apart by almost seven years of war. Millions of Syrians have had to leave their lives behind. And as the years go by, the war simply seems to change its form. The guns seemingly impossible to silence. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera, Azaz, Syria.